Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today Apple has released the fourth beta of iOS 14. So in this video, we're going to take a look at what's new on iOS 14 beta 4. Some amazing new features have been added and I will show you guys all about them iOS 14 beta 4 should come to your device at around 600 megabytes. That of course will be different on different devices, but that's the size of update that you can expect when you want to install iOS 14 beta 4 on your device. A really cool new feature of iOS 14 beta 4 are the new widgets for the shortcuts app. Now you can have small widgets for the shortcuts app. The two by two widget can now be added as a single shortcut. So you can select any shortcut that you have and set it as a widget on the home screen of your iOS 14 device. So of course, all you have to do is just go to the widgets panel. And from here, what you want to do is just go ahead, go to shortcuts, choose the first one here, which is the smaller one. And you can see right now it is just blank, but all you have to do here is just tap and hold and tap on edit widget. And now it will give you the option to go ahead and choose here, whichever one of your shortcuts you want to place on that widget. And now you will have the widget right there, including the shortcut that you have chosen. Really, really cool. You can go ahead and basically run any one of these shortcuts directly from the widgets. New widgets have also been added on iOS 14 beta 4 and there for the TV app. Now we have seen screenshots of this, but now you can go ahead and add them to the home screen of your iOS 14 device. Here we have two of them, the bigger one and the middle one right here on the home screen. These are new and have been added recently. Another change with the, with the widgets on the home screen is that now when you go to edit one of the widgets that you have. So let's say here, if I go ahead and tap on edit widget, you can see now it will blur the background with the color of the app to which you're editing the widget. So right here, you can see if I go to the clock and do the same thing, it will be a different color. So it will just basically colorize that based the background here based on the icon of the apps that you're editing its widget. Exposure notifications are now back with iOS 14 beta 4. They're not just back, but now they have their own section within the settings app. So you will see right here, just underneath the emergency SOS, you will find exposure notifications. This is new with iOS 14 beta 4. Also, 3D Touch has been enabled on beta 4. On beta 3, it was disabled. So for devices that have a 3D Touch screen, it was disabled, but now is back with iOS 14 beta 4. New changes have also been made on the search section on iOS 14 beta 4 underneath the website suggestions. Now you will find your top hits. That's a change. And also if you scroll down here, you will find that you will have now a new button that allows you to show more results on the search that you have made. There is also a very important fix with the app store. So if you have full keyboard access enabled with beta three and you go to the app store, it might randomly just close the app store and crash. But now with beta four, according to Apple, this has been fixed and shouldn't be a problem anymore. So that's about it for this video, guys. These are some of the new features and changes that you will find on iOS 14 beta four. Of course, there are a ton of more and we need time to discover them. So I will go ahead and upload another video once I find some new features and changes that have been added to iOS 14 beta four. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Go ahead and leave a like if you did. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you guys on the next one.